So in this video, I want to talk about the three causes of sickness. Most people think being sick, and by the way, I'm not talking about, you know, catching a really bad virus or food poisoning and stuff. I'm talking about being sick as in, you know, nasal, feeling off, you know, the, the usual sickness, the one that, you know, people don't really look too much into. The three reasons you get that kind of sickness are number one, really, really bad nutrition. So when you don't eat fruits and vegetables, and especially if you also eat shit food, uh, there's a very high likelihood that your brain is gonna put a stop on your body and is going to force you to stop eating these foods because I've never found somebody who feels like that, who gets sick like that and actually keeps eating. So it's proof that it works. Now the second reason your body might do that to you is to slow you down. It's because you're working way too hard and usually combined with a very acute lack of sleep. So the solution to that is simple. Stop working yourself to death. <laughs> um, it basically, it's your body building fatigue through usually a very severe lack of sleep. You know, these weeks where you sleep only like five hours, four hours, six hours every day and work your ass off, it's very likely that you'll get sick eventually. Now, the third reason you might get sick is because of an acute buildup of emotional stress. So what that is, is when you have some sort of a fear response, some anxiety, something inside of you that sort of resists the day-to-day -day life. Maybe you resist, I don't know, you're trying to get yourself famous and you're resisting making you know, videos because it makes you feel anxious. Or maybe you constantly resist the work that you do. You, you hate writing, so it makes you feel bad and you have to constantly fight yourself. So when you have to always fight yourself and that resistance, then the usual result is sickness. Inherently, the three types of, uh, three causes of sickness just show you one thing. It's basically your body telling you, hey, uh, you're not doing something right. Since it doesn't have a way of communicating with you, actually, you know, telling you, then it has to show you by, you know, changing your physiology. And, um, and that's what it does. So you have only two choices at that point. You can fight it, you can shove it down and not follow along with the plan, which will only make your sickness longer. Or you can listen to it, you can accept it immediately realize that it's one of these three f key factors you know either bad nutrition over fatigue or buildup of negative emotions and then you can take action to basically uh, fix that by again eating a lot of fruits and vegetables or uh, and or <laughs> uh, resting you know sleeping a bit more and also finding out where you've been resisting and kind of fixing that psychological or emotional issue so I've for example had that when I just started making videos where it was a bit hard for me to be as open as I am today and I was constantly resisting so every time I was about to make a video I was like oh I don't know I don't know if I should like uh, uh. and it felt like I felt like a huge amount of resistance to making the videos so I spent like a third of my day just in resistance because it was five videos a day we know from zero to five basically in the day um, so yeah it was it was pretty fucking hard and yeah obviously I got sick now the cool thing is that when I get sick like that I keep working I don't stop working but I do it from a very different uh, place so when I keep working that doesn't mean that I keep working just the same but what it does mean is that I um, I keep working from a holistic point of view which means that I, I still work, but I, I don't apply pressure anymore. So let's say that I go to work out, which I'll still do when I'm sick. I just, I will make sure it's like a light workout that doesn't strain me. Or let's say I make videos, 
I make sure to make videos in a very comfortable way so that I don't feel, you know, anxious about it or fatigued or basically I just I just treat myself like a very fragile person at that point and just make sure that I don't hurt that fragility while I keep making the videos and while I keep working out while I keep writing and meditating and basically I keep moving forward while I'm sick so this is my uh, five cents on you know sickness how to deal with it um, I'm not obviously a doctor by the way beautiful view uh, I'm not a doctor or anything but I am uh, very experienced in that since I used to get sick a whole lot uh, because of this and I learned how to deal with it and nowadays I don't get sick almost at all and when I do uh, if it's like once a month I'll usually get sick for like a day maybe a th three four three quarters of a day and will be gone because I just don't resist the process and other than that I don't get sick at all so again <laughs> so these are just my thoughts uh, if you have anything you know any different thoughts about this or anything to contribute I'd love to know and uh, you know if this video helps you and you're not subscribed yet now would be a good good time to do that so thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe and let me know if you want uh, coaching because I do coaching so just send me a message and I could help you cheers